Good morning, welcome to Manic Fishing. Right, it's five past seven, I'm just gonna go around and get the lock. Dogs have all got their life jacket on, so I'm gonna go and do part two of this ray fishing video. As you know, I had some engine problems last time with the alternator. So let's get round there, get the half seven lock and see if I can get a few rays. Right, so I'm just in the lock. Manx Bell's behind me there and uh, we're gonna head out. He's going wrecking, I think. And uh, I'm gonna go and say, try and get some rays. So I'll see you out there. Right, so I've just got out to this ground now and I'm, uh, I'm gonna fish against the bank. I'm hoping they're gonna be here. Not a million miles where I was on the first trip I did, so uh, just gonna see roughly where I'm going, but I can see where I'm going, so I'm just gonna chuck the, chuck the anchor in now and get myself all set up and get some baits out. Right, so I just got the anchor in and the boat's turning nicely. Fingers crossed. Let's hope I do okay. Right, so what I'm gonna try again today is I'm gonna use um, self-hooking lead and what I might do is I might actually up this I'm going to put an eight ounce on this I think and I've got a oops lacerating myself I've got about a two foot trace on that with a 4-0 long shank hook that I used last time but I think I'm going to uh, up that weight a bit because it's a bit of a big tide I'll see how I get on and on the other rod I've already got this set up on the other rod I've got a a 4-0 hook on about a two and a half foot, three foot trace with a long anti-tangle boom, bead and snap swivel. So I'm gonna put a eight ounce, I think, eight, maybe 10 ounce weight on that and bait it up probably with bluey, squid and lug. So let's get set up. Now I haven't got any um, eight or 10 ounce ball lead. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've put two I think these are two sixes and I've put beads in between to stop them like a shock. So that'll do fine, that'll be fine. And again on a on about a two and a half foot trace. So I'm gonna put that one on my lure rod and I'm gonna get this one set up. I've got a 12 ounce weight on this one and I'm just gonna do the baiting up now. So I'll show you how I bait up and then we'll get the rods over. Looks like we're holding fine exactly really where I want to be so I'm going to use my lure rod this is a 10 room mastiff it's a sort of bigger jigging rod that I use for up to 200 grams but this would be good fun with these rays so I've just literally got my lure snap clip on that I'm just going to connect that to this uh, self hooking rig and that's ready to go that should just roll around hopefully and uh, work just get this baiting elastic off that was on there from last time and then I'm going to bait up right let's get this one out I think first so what I've got today let's get myself organized a bit right so I've got a selection of bait today So I've got some lug, I've got some blueies. So let's get my baiting spoon out. So these are nice small blueies, which I think they'll be the best you can sort of fish them whole I've got some squid which I'll get up here and I've got some frozen black lug so let's get these baits all uh, built up then so these packs out for now I took these out last night but they're still uh, a bit solid but they do go to mush 
once they've been out. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head, the head off and the tail off. And I want them about that length, about sort of five inches. And I'm going to cut them literally straight in half down the centre and put them flesh side down so it gets the uh, scent out. So let's put this one on first. So I'm going to put about three lugworm in this and perhaps a little bit of squid. So it's a nice cocktail, nice scent going out. So I'm going to just cut the squid down. I just want sort of strips of this. That's it. I've left the head on that. So what I'll do is I'll put the bluey in first. Get my hook. Here's my hook. Yeah, that's the one. So I'll lay my hook over this uh, needle, bait and spoon. So it lays down the middle of that bait. Chuck my lug on. Let's get my uh, elastic ready. So I'm going to put the free lug in and then put the squid on top. And I'll have it so the head's hanging down. And hopefully, get the end of this bait and stuff. There you go. My lovely dog chewed through this last time, so I'm not sure if this is the one that he's, he went through or not. And so I've got that head so it's uh, hanging down past the hook, but the hook's nice and prominent. Right, I think that'll do. So I'll just push that off. And there's the bait there. The blue is nice and wrapped lugworm. So let's get this one over and then I'll set the next one up. Okay, so that's the set up there. So let's check, we're still drifting in the right direction. Tighten this clutch up. Okay, and I'm gonna cast this one out quite away. Well, a bit away from the boat. And that'll just roll around. I'll let a bit of line out. And that can just do its thing, literally. Right, with this one, a uh, 12 ounce weight on this because I don't want this one rolling too far around. And I'm going to do exactly the same bait. I'm just going to take these guts out of this uh, squid. Okay. Right, so lay the bluey in. Put the hook over that so it's down nice put the flesh side down as i said i'm going to uh, concentrate on doing this seasonal fishing what's about a specific time of the year and at the minute there seems to be quite a lot of rays about so let's hope so so that's it there pull that off make sure that hook's nice and that's the bait there Okay, so that's on a that's on a um, about two and a half foot trace with a twelve ounce lead. As I say, I don't want this one rolling around. I'll just see where my weight is there. I'm just going to drop this one over the side, so I don't want this one going too far. That's it. So it's holding quite nicely there, actually. So it's not too far away from the boat, but it's on the bottom. So let's uh, get myself tidied up and hopefully wait for the action. Now I'm only going to fish the two rods today because it uh, gets a bit hectic with lines going everywhere. So hopefully um, we'll hit them rays today and not too many dogfish I'm hoping.
it's inevitable I'm going to get some, so it's one of them. And what I'm doing while I'm waiting, I'm making a couple of baits up. So literally, I'm just whipping these on and I'm trying a little side of fillet of mackerel, bluey lug, and on the other one, mackerel lug and squid. So literally, once I've got it in, I'll just put my hook through, through these. So yeah, I've got two baits there all ready to go. So all I've got to do literally is, uh, is just clip them on. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay this rod down so it's not so high up in the water. So it's not uh, dragging so much. That one's okay because it's rolling. My mate's just messaged me, he's just, uh, just had a nice pollock, maybe 12 pound. But, uh, you know, there's only so many pollock videos you can do. As I said, I want to really concentrate on doing seasonal fishing. You know, what's out at that time of the month throughout the year. So it's uh, mixing it up a little bit. I'm going to go and do a, a place video in the next couple of weeks. And uh, and then, as I said, once the, um, the wrasse start turning up, I'm going to go and try and get myself uh, some nice wrasse. I know there might be some ballon. I may well have a try today. Um, I'll see how it is. When it gets to slack water, I may well flick up onto a, a reef and a rocky area and try... I've got my lure rod there and try some of these nice little uh, these little lures I've got. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip my anchor back, release some rope and get myself right tight to this bank. As you all know from watching my videos, my patience isn't great and I'm not really getting a lot of action here. So I'm going to slip back just about 100, 150 foot. So I'm tight against this bank. So I'll get the rods in pay some line out and then we'll have another go right well, let's see where that'll take me so it's pulling me around again now but what it is is i'm in a v and i want to get myself back against this bank a bit so i'll see where i settle there and then i might have to pay a little bit more line out but what i'll do is i'll uh I'll show you this, where it is, let me just get my phone, and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you where I am, so this is the bank here I want to be up against, so I was here before, so I've paid out about, so there's my scale there, 500 foot, so I reckon I'm about about 200 foot away from that now. The time the line goes down, I'm going to be pretty close to it. So I think I'm on the money there. So let's get my lines back down and go from there. I'm just going to bring these rods in. I'm actually going to move. I'm going to move further into this uh, V, get the anchor in and move. Now, for some reason, my uh, winch isn't working. Not quite sure, so I've had to do uh, the old-fashioned way and uh, steam the boy out. So you put an ordinary ring, uh, ordinary ring on and a boy, and you'll see that pop up hopefully in a minute. And then I'll just pull it in. So I'm just driving exactly down to where the anchor was set. And what you'll do is you'll see this boy come up in a minute. And then the anchor is literally round the ring. Yeah, I think the boy's going down now and then it'll pop the anchor. So the anchor's popped, so I'll turn back round and pull the, uh, pull the line in. So I've just moved and re-anchored and, uh, yeah, you realise how uh, how much you miss a uh, electric winch, but I mean it's no drama. So I used to do it all the time. Once that anchor's actually popped, it goes inside that Orkney ring and uh, just stays on the bopper. So you just pull it in and you're just pulling in slack line. But yeah, it takes me back a bit. Right, so let's get the baits down and uh, have a go here. This is actually the spot I was going to come to to start with, but 
you sort of change your mind as soon as you get in the lock you think oh no i'll try there but it is what it is so yeah we're not getting a lot of action today folks but uh, it is what it is it's fishing and uh, you can't always catch I, I would have thought i'd have got a dog fish at least even though i'm not over keen on catching them but i mean it's early yet it's uh what's the time five to eleven so i don't know what to do so i'll just literally clip this one back on one i prepared earlier Let's flick this one out again. Oh look, there's a pallet there. Can you see that? Look, blimey. You wouldn't want to be hitting that at speed. That's very dangerous. And I'm on anchor, so I can't retrieve it. Yeah, so something's out. I saw a load of wood around me. So something must have... Uh, fallen off of somewhere that's a massive pallet there it looks like it's drifting towards that ship there so <laughs> hopefully he'll pick it up and it's strange i come out here as you know a couple of weeks ago and uh fished the ebb tide and had four within an hour exactly the same bait and exactly the same tactics Well, oh, well, it's a dogfish, but at least I'll take it. I'll be honest; it's uh, it's better than a blank. So yeah, nice little dogfish. Feels like a ray. Let's hope so supposed to be a video about ray fishing. Yeah, we're on the leader. No, it's a dogfish, for God's sake. Well, at least it's a dogfish. And you can see I've got him just straight through the mouth with this. This is what I'm worried about. I don't want to, if they, they tend to take the hooks down really deep. Look, that's caught right in the, <coughs> in the jaw there. So the last one I had to get it out with pliers. So it's yeah. So very sharp, sandy. Yeah. Okay. Little baby. <laughs> but I'll take it. Now it's all wrapped up. It's gone all shy for the camera. Let's get him back. Well, I'm just. Well, I'm just starting to get a bite on this back rod. I say it's virtually, uh, we're virtually on um, high water now, so I think I am actually going to go anchor back round on the on the ebb anchor point where I fished it the first time and try. I've got all this bait; it'd be silly not to. As I said, it's not, you know, it's not always. You can't always come out here and have a, you know, a lottery day. It is fishing at the end of the day, and I think that it's, uh, you know, it's just portrayed exactly what it's all about. You know, it's not always, it doesn't matter how good you think you are, it's about fishing <laughs> at the end of the day. You've got to be able to uh, fish, you've got to be there, and you've got to be able to catch them. And um, I'm doing everything right, but just don't seem to be playing ball today so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave this one in now because I'm going to uh, pull the anchor up soon and get myself on this ebb drift what I do I'm going to position that camera so you can see hopefully you can see how I um, steam this boy out now hopefully I can do this without me losing the camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around front of the boat release the anchor and I'll show you how I do this so let's get round here so what I'm doing I'm just uh, the boys at the front of the boat here so I'm just gonna let 
bit of line out and then tie it back down and then I'll show you I think you can see the boy to my right hand side and I'm going to creep the boat forward so I can see the line okay obviously we'll make sure it doesn't get Sure nothing in front of you. What you do is you steam along. You can see that. What that's doing is that boy is going to go right the way down in a minute. Once that chain starts to uh, give that bit of speed. What it is is when that, that boy will go will pop down and pop the anchor out. You'll see it sink in a minute. Hopefully you'll see it. Takes a little while. And then you'll see it will pop up once that anchor in the uh, in the ring. Right, so it's gone down. down. And then you'll see it pop up in a minute. When you see it pop up, that's when the anchor is in the ring. So I'll just turn the boat back round. And you see the boy there. So that boy, so I just pull myself round and then literally I'm hoping that anchor should be straight in that in the ring now. So let's pull it in see so it should just be a case of pulling the slack in now he says if I can bring it round to the side where the camera is I'll show you let's bring it round here so you can see this so I've got little markers on here, so you can see there's the chain there. Let me come round here so I can get my rope nice. And look, there's the anchor. Nearly fell in there. There's the anchor right round the ring, see? And that's how you get it in. Right. Still easier with an electric one. <laughs> right, okay. Let's get myself round on this head drift and we'll uh, we'll have another go. So I've chapped the anchor in roughly where I want to be and you see the boys out there so when that tide starts to move that will grip in but the anchor's already down i'll just wait now and uh it'll uh when the tide starts to move it'll tow me around and i should be facing sort of towards uh eastbourne that way so i've moved the boat in the general direction when the anchor starts grip it'll pull me tight and swing me round i think it's on here so on the lure rod it always feels better than what it actually is because of the bend. Yeah. Oh well, after having no action for a while, the dogfish is uh, quite pleasing. Nicely hooked again. getting a bite on this rod and also on this one so well 
so there's something on here but not sure what it is oh oh dear that makes a change a dogfish but as I say at least it's uh, at least it's constant catching you know so it's uh, it's not too bad so that I pulled my hook off of that skip will you leave that bait alone yeah so another little dogfish lovely looking things So yeah, uh, oh look, it's just let go. Well, that was a relief really. At least I ain't got to unhook him. Another little dogfish. So I've told my friend where I am. I'm on a small, sort of rough ground area. Mate, you can't miss it. He says, I can't find you, I can't find you. I don't particularly want to put my AIS on because uh, and other people blip your numbers, you know. I'm having quite a few people try and track me, but uh, God knows why, because I'm only catching dogfish. <laughs> uh, when I go wrecking and that, they do uh, sort of monitor you on the shipping uh, app. All right, let's get this one in. in case of rebaiting each time, I think. Oh, this feels a bit different. Yeah, this feels like something on there. Hopefully all right. So it was knocking earlier, but didn't really notice it, but it feels a bit heavier. Well, it's a job to work out sometimes with these. Oh my God. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna have to change the name of this video to Dogfish, uh, Dogfish Fest. Oh, you can see that greedy bugger. But at least they're nicely hooked, you know. Where it's not swallowing it down. Look. There you go, another little one. Here we come, bro. Get a little video of his boat for him. Who is this kid? There he is, better late than never. Aquafish 28, lovely boat actually. I've yet to been out on it fishing. Where you been then? No. Loads of little ones. Let's see what's happening here. That feels a little bit better. No. Oh, mighty. I'm the king of dogfish. Oh. Yeah, it is a dogfish. I thought it was a little conga then. Oh well, better size one, but still only a dogfish. Well, today's video was supposed to be about catching rays, but I think I'm going to rename this video "How to Successfully Catch Dogfish." So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure now. It's half past two, so I might well get in maybe fish till three get the r three lock in i'm not sure yet see how things go i say my friends just turned up over here and uh, so i feel obliged to stay a little bit longer so into something now feels a bit more substantial but Let's have a look.
Let's hope it's the target. <laughs> well, it's official. I am the master of catching dogfish today. So yeah, another beauty. So yeah, if you want a video on how to successfully catch uh, dogfish, this is the one to watch. More coming. So another little dogfish. A bit of ray, oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Dear oh lord. God knows how many now. How to successfully catch dogfish. Well, dogfish king strikes again. What have we got now? It's got to be a dogfish. Well, it's quarter to three. You can't flog a dead all, so I've been out here and uh, no race today, but loads of dogfish. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that button there, and uh, hopefully I'll get another video out in the next couple of weeks. Come on, in, in, hit. Skip, come on. Going around the front to do his cape wins a little bit. Locks on green. Got to get in here. Nice. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll get more action with better fish next time. Thank you.